Brother, move, 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 brother.
Your Excellency Yoweri Kabuta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda and my dear brother, ministers from governments of Republic of Uganda and United Republic of Tanzania, other government officials, dignitaries from the private sector, um, development partners, ambassadors, high commissioners, members of diplomatic corps, our dear developers, consultancies and contractors, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Kwa wa Tanzania, Jamhuri ya Mugano wa Tanzania. Sante. Your Excellency and my dear brother, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, and our gracious host today, it is an honor and pleasure to be here again in this beautiful country, and particularly here in Chikagati. Myself and my, on behalf of my delegation, wish to express our sincere appreciation for the invitation and of course warm reception extended to us today. Asante Nisana. Your Excellency, I'm privileged to join you today on the inauguration ceremony of the Chikagate Morongo Hydropower Project because you could have done it alone with your people. But you said, no, I have to be here. And you called me, I think, last month to give me this date. And so I made sure I won't lose the, the privilege. Frankly speaking, I applaud your vision in originating this project and think to it that it is accomplished. Congratulations and thank you so much. I would also like to uh, thank and congratulate the contractors, developers, and consultancies for the job well done. I've had a chance to visit the project and I saw it. It is really well done. Congratulations and thank you. This project, um, I'm always happy, I'm always happy to note that our historic and fraternal relation continue to improve day by day. And of course there is a wider room to further make the improvement of our relationship and cooperation, particularly in areas of trade and investment, as well as cultural and social engagement. And so this project is going to immensely contribute to that effect. While our countries continue to record an impressive economic growth, our responsibility of heads of states and government is to direct the investment to such these areas like here where we are, whereby the investment shall catalyze the macroeconomic development of the area, of which are going to foster macroeconomic outcomes. We have to develop such these areas and build the microeconomic development or the base of microeconomic development in such a way that it's going to foster macroeconomic outcomes. So this is exactly what we are doing. And I must say that the power generated here shall improve a lot of things. One, it's going to improve trading and investment in this region is going to improve the transport and transportation of people and goods and so, trade activities. It's going to improve social services, clean and safe water, sound health services, better schooling, 
contemporary teaching modalities are going to be done here because power is here. This power is going to bridge the communication gaps as has been uh, just said by the minister, that there are going to be connections and so communication gaps are going to be bridged between the urban and the rural settings. But the power is going to improve social engagement because people are going to uh, engage now and then and they have the ability and capa capability to do so. But the power is going to improve security in our areas. In general, power is power. That's why it's called power. Because it's going to reduce the inequality gap between the urban and rural settings. All of them are going to enjoy the same benefits. Uh, Your Excellency, I've heard of the challenging issues mentioned here by the developers and uh, thanks to my minister, have touched on them, but I must add my word of promise that the government, my government, is going to give a due priority on these issues. We are going to work and resolve in them, on them and make our project um, going smoothly. They, are the, they have the multilateral, multi-sectoral concern, and that's why I said my government is going to work on them. Your Excellency, it is now my assurance that the government of the Republic um, of Tanzania remains committed to strengthening and deepening our brotherly friendship and cooperation. I've heard of the Musongozi Power Project, and I'll just uh, want to um, request you to allow the technical teams from both uh, parties to discuss on the project and come up with the modality of implementing the project. My government is ready for the project because we are now engaging heavily on the power distribution in rural settings. And so sources of power like this are going to be very helpful to our mission. So Tanzania is ready, and I think Uganda is ready too. Um, finally, Your Excellency, I must once again thank you for this uh, invitation and congratulate you for this accomplishment. And of course, with our responsibilities ahead, I wish you, Your Excellency and my dear brother, personal good health and prosperity for the people of Uganda. Asante sana. Thank you for listening.